Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be. In this video we're going to look at an advanced Excel feature whereby we will use an if statement in conjunction with VLOOKUP. We're starting off here with some data, the employees, their salaries, whether they have lodged an exempt status for, tech, uh, for their tax rates and we, what, what we want to do is to look over here and depending on their income if they lodge an exempt statement then we want to show the tax rate from down in here in this column or if they haven't lodged a, uh, an exempt uh, statement then we want to use the normal rate which we see down here so what we want to finish up with our goal is to finish up with this situation here whereby we see the exempt status yes 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 no no etc which we now want to look for the tax rate from the array here and fill it in depending on their salary and their exempt status fill in the tax rate using VLOOKUP and IF as we shall see and then using a simple formula to multiply the salary by the tax rate to find out how much tax they should pay so let's look at the method that we use here now you'll notice that I'm going to type a formula in here which is this formula here and that formula is equal VLOOKUP look up what's in B4 in other words look at the salary then in the array G4 to I10 which we want to make absolute with dollar signs because we want to stay within that group of cells in the array so I'm going to click in G4 and press the F4 key and the same with I10 there and then we are going to use an if statement to say if C4 equals yes double quotes of course because it's text then show me what's in the second column in the array otherwise show me what's in the third column and then we balance our brackets with two closing brackets so let's analyze this formula to see how I've been able to use VLOOKUP with a nested IF. <coughs> First of all we said look at the salary then over in the array over here find the salary and if C4 is equal to yes then show me what is in column 2 in other words if the exempt status is yes show me the rate which matches that salary and the rate we'll see shortly will be 12% so when I control enter there is my answer 12% now all I need to do is to autofill that down and there are my various rates let's test a couple here we have a salary of 37,000 so it's falling in between these figures here the exempt status is yes so the tax rate will be 20% because Excel looks down to the lowest figure in the uh, in between the two. 9,500. Yes, it's going to be 8% because it's exempt. But this one, 23,000, which falls between these two uh, with an, a, a rate of no, will be 18%, and so on and so forth. So what we're looking at there is the ability to use an if statement to decide which column we needed to use to show the tax rate there now all I need to do now is to find the tax amount is to type a formula equal B4 multiplied by D4 and there is the tax amount payable there and again I can simply auto fill that down by double clicking I can auto fill by double clicking because there was data in the column immediately to the left so remember that uh, this these this file can be downloaded from our website from the link shown in the description below so that you can practice it yourself 
So what I'm going to do is to delete that information there and I want you to go to the website, uh, download the file, practice it yourself, make sure you understand the concept and thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.